everyone. This is Raymond Falco, Member of Parliament in Canada and co-chair of the group called Friends for a Democratic Iran. Now, we have worked very, very hard with thousands of people all over the world to try to get the PMOI off the list of terrorism. And today we have had absolutely fantastic news from the United States of America. And we know that the United States Appeals Court for the District of Columbia has actually come down with an historic ruling. This is a ruling by a three-member panel of judges who have come through with an absolutely wonderful news for all of us. This is a USA Appeals Court of District of Columbia recognizes that circumstances have changed both in Iran and for the PMOI, and they are urging the Secretary of State of the United States of America to review the designation of PMOI as a terrorist group. What does this mean? This means that the, it is the responsibility now for the Secretary of State of the United States to actually study the list of terrorists with a view to delist the PMOI from this list. In other words, to take the PMOI off the list of terrorists. This is such absolutely wonderful news for all of us and particularly for those people, those martyrs in Ash Camp Ashraf who are, have sacrificed and continue to sacrifice every day on behalf of the Iranian people and Iranian democracy. For all lovers of democracy and specifically for all people who fight every day to bring democracy back to Iran and specifically for all people who work for PMOI, this is an historic moment. So we in Canada are working very hard to do exactly the same thing, to urge the Minister of Justice to delist the PMOI from the list of terrorist groups, and we will keep you posted on how well that will do. They are very satisfied in Finland and in the Finnish group for Iranian freedom. Uh, that's the appeal uh, court in the United States has made a decision that is a very similar one that was made by the court in Britain and uh, the European Union court as well, which says that PMI uh, cannot say on the terrorist list, but it's a political organization trying to guarantee democracy and human rights in Iran. And I am very certain that decisions made in Europe have had an influence to the decision made in the United States. And as the appeal court shows, so there's no evidence that there should be any reason how maybe one slight decision to put the MOI on the first place. And, uh, and I'm quite certain that, okay, this is a deal for decision, but I'm quite certain that the government in the United States will follow the court decision because... So this is both for the Iranian people, for the American people, and for all of those in the world that think uh, values are uh, the fundamentals of politics. It, it's a very, very happy day. I would like to congratulate uh, the People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, its perseverance in um, fighting for the truth, and uh, I would like to congratulate in particular the president of um, the Iranian resistance, Mrs. Mariam Rajavi, for this great victory, and I hope that uh, uh, this will give a clear sign to uh, the United States uh, politics that they have to see the appeasement policy in Iran that leads nowhere, and uh, they have to um, keep by uh, their best allies, and their best allies are the Iranian people that want to live in a free and democratic society. And this is the key to all of the open problems in the, um, the greater Middle East. So um, this is a very, very happy day today, and uh, many congratulations to all of those who have been fighting for, uh, for these results. And uh, um, I hope uh, this uh, will be a sign for uh, the United States to uh, have uh, quite a different policy regarding the Iranian democratic opposition.